blocking the camera. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. We have a couple people already in the room, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so, for you guys in here already, and then anybody watching in the future, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Sam. This is The Blind Life. This is my wife, Rachel. Hello. We have had a, we've had a series on here before called Couples Q&A, uh, where we talk about all, all different aspects of being in a relationship, being married, parenting, all with vision impairment. So um, if you don't know already, I am visually impaired myself. I'm legally blind, um, so I probably will not Sorry. look at the camera all the way. <laughs> yeah, I have to turn the light okay, on. Okay, I did. Um, but, and then Rachel is not. Rachel yeah. uh, has, she doesn't have the best vision, but it's correctable. It's totally correctable, yeah. yeah. Without without any correction, I am legally blind, but it doesn't matter because it's correctable. Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we, like I said, we've got a, a series on here called Couples Q&A, and, you know, if And it's from years ago. Yeah, yeah. But it was pretty popular. A lot of people liked it. Um, if you never saw those, uh, I will put a link in this the description of this video. Uh, but I also have a playlist on my channel for couples Q and A. What did we do? We did like parenting, dating, dating, um, marriage, household, living in the house together. I think That's... there were just three of them, weren't there? We may have done four. Mm. We did one from the um, resort or wherever we were that one time. Yeah, we did one sitting back there. Yeah. So I don't maybe, know. <laughs> maybe only three. But anyway, uh, so you know. Lots of good information. I've had a lot of people ask me over the years about dating and you know and, and marriage with someone with vision impairment. Um, so if you're curious about that, check out those videos. But we thought uh, today is actually our 18th uh, wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary, you too. <laughs> <laughs> so Rachel thought it'd be a great idea, her idea, to just do a live stream and um, talk about it. You know. Like she said, it's been a while since we, we did a video or anything like that. Um, so if anybody has any questions, we'd be happy to answer those. Rachel's monitoring the chat here. Yeah, there's quite a few people in here. Dark Queen, Computers, Technology for the Blind. Awesome. Agent Howard, Kelly Trapasso, Dave Spencer, Sarah Barth. Someone said happy anniversary. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so much easier to monitor a chat when you can actually see it you know <laughs> all of us with, with the vision impairment we're like all right hold on um whatever yeah. I, it looks like your live chats for you no i've done a couple without you have you yeah yeah um but yeah so what do you want to talk about i don't know what do you want to talk about well um like we said we've been married 18 years um and it's going well <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It is. Yeah. That means our marriage is an adult. Yep. It's finally reached adulthood. <laughs> um, Made it through the teen years. Yeah. Those rough teen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The annoying teen years. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, should we start with how we met and stuff? Yeah. I guess we could just kind of give a recap. You know, like I said, a lot of this information is also in those videos too on the playlist. Oh, um, here we go. P. Duffy, 83 USE. USA asked if you were the first VIP person that I dated. Yes. And honestly, when we very first met, I didn't know that he was visually impaired. I mean, he told me pretty quickly, but it didn't, I didn't truly, I didn't fully understand the scope of it, I guess. Um, yeah, because what I, I said, I, I, I don't you, see he, very he well. He said your eyes don't work very well. <laughs> understatement. Yeah. <laughs> a severe understatement. So, um, but yeah, I did not know, um, but I did know before we went on our first date, because we talked on the phone before we actually met in person, and yeah. you told me during one of those phone conversations, because you had to tell me that you didn't drive, yeah. and then I think I asked why, or you told me why, or whatever. And I think, did you assume? You, I assumed you had gotten a DUI, or yeah. lost your license for some reason. Yeah, it, yeah. if you're older, old enough to drive, and you tell someone you don't drive, that's the immediate first thought is... Yeah. It's yeah. crappy, but it is. It's. I mean, that's immediately yeah. where my head went was that you had done something wrong, <laughs> Got and that's drunk. why you, you couldn't <laughs> drive. So, yeah. so yes, he was the first and only because I never dated anyone again after I dated him mm -hmm. twenty years ago. 
Um, okay, Kelly Trapasso said, I'd love to hear how you talk to your kids about Sam's blindness. I'm losing my sight and have four-year-old twins and a two-year-old and feel it's hard to explain to them. It, it, well, at that age, it definitely is. Um, it, it's a little bit different with us as well because Sam's vision was poor before we ever had kids. Uh, he, he has a son who from a previous relationship, but he was very young when Sam and I met. So um, Yeah, but on the same the same hand, if, if her kids are that age and she's losing her vision, that's all they're going to remember. Yeah, they won't up. remember yeah. before. And it's just... You know, I don't even remember... I don't think we had like a sit-down no. talk or anything. It's just little things like when she, you know, Skylar or Jacob would want to show you something. And, you know, you have to bring it closer because Daddy can't see very well. And, you know, it, it just, I think it just kind of comes naturally as that's just the way you're living is. life and we're yeah. making, you know, the, the few accommodations we make for you, you know, they, they just learn it as they, as they grow up in that household. Yeah. It's it just, it's just their normal, you know, that, um, if you want to show daddy something or, or in your case, you want to show mommy something, you got to hold it close. And oftentimes the kid would be like, here, daddy, look. And they would put it right in front of my face. Yeah, like, oh, okay. Overcompensate. You got to back up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, so it's, but it, you know what? And it, we've got a whole. Um, I I actually have videos on my channel where I talk to my kids about growing up with a parent of vision impairment, as well as my sister, um, my sister's kids. I talk to my nephews about that as well. So that might be good information for you as well. But. I, they just, like I said, it's just, it's just the way it always is for them. It's, it's their normal. That's not, not abnormal. Um, and it, it, you know, it helps as they grow. Uh, they kind of, I don't know, not develop or get mature faster, but they get responsibility sooner because you know they might have to help dad uh, read a menu or you know or. Yeah. But the, the good thing about that is, is that when they're first able to do that, they're very proud that they can do it. Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't like, oh, I have to help dad. Yeah, it was like, I want to. I, like, I feel like Skylar still sometimes gets mad <laughs> she because does. she'll, she wanted to read you the menu and I read the menu or, yeah. or whatever. So I don't feel like either of our kids or either of our nephews are, resent, resent having to help their mm -hmm. parents sometimes at all. Honestly, and you know, I'm biased, but I think having kids grow up in a household with someone with a disability makes them better people. I mean, they're, they are, I think, a little less judgy, a little more understanding, um, quicker to help. I mean, I know Jacob was one that, My um, son, Jacob. his son Jacob was one that when he was in school and there was a kid with special needs or Down syndrome, Jacob was often the buddy that would go and help and, and stuff. And I, and I think Skylar is, is that way as well, which we also have a nephew with Down syndrome, so that probably plays into that a little bit as well. But um, I think they're really eager to help people and see, you know, see someone that might be struggling and give them, give them help and stuff. Of course, yeah. I'm biased, so I think our kids are great and our nephews are great. But Yeah, and then the one thing I would also uh, say about that is, and this is true for parents of kids who are visually impaired, is the worst thing you can do is make it seem like there's something wrong with it. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bad thing. We need to hide it. Um, and that's true for, you know, talking with your kids. Um, you don't want them to feel weird about having to help mom or help dad. Um, yeah. Because you don't want to, you don't want to turn it into something negative. Yeah. I mean, it's always good for kids to be helpful for yeah. their, to their parents, whether it's because they need it because of a disability or they just are being helpful. Yeah. And not like our kids don't complain about stuff sometimes, uh. but really they very rarely do when it comes to you need a little help because you can't see something. Yeah. Um, uh, hold on. Actually, while you're reading that, my, that's one of my daughter's new favorite jokes now is because you're blind. <laughs> it's getting old. <laughs> she's 14, you know, she's got that sarcastic, and she's got the, she's my kid, so of course she's sarcastic. <laughs> um, so, Refrigerator we with a D <laughs> right. said, um, what was your experience in finding your beloved other half? Was it difficult? No, okay, so this is going to come up sooner or later, how we met. Um, <laughs> we actually, so this was 
Yeah, 18, no, 20 years ago. So this was before, um, you know, the age of internet dating and all of this. <laughs> uh, I actually, I had recently moved, I was, I was living in this city for a couple years. Um, and, and I just moved here a year prior. Just moved, yeah, she just moved here. And, you know, people meet in bars or they say libraries or at church. Well, I, you know, visually impaired, I didn't get out that much. So I decided to put an ad in the newspaper, in, in the old school personals ad. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked because she, she responded to it. And that's, so that's how we met. Um, I don't... Did you have difficulty before meeting me though? Like dating people and, and people being scared off or not interested um, because of your vision? I don't know what scared off. That makes me sound like a, <laughs> like a You're monster. You're pretty terrifying. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> I didn't have the beard back then. Uh, no, I. this was back when AOL and um, you know instant messaging and chat and all that was really, really big. Um, chat, chat rooms. So that's how I met a lot of ladies. <laughs> that's how I met the ladies in chat rooms. Um, and then we would arrange to meet somewhere for a date. I actually went on several dates here in, in the city I'm in. Before I met, before I did the personals ad, met Rachel, um, and yeah, some of them, that was the only date, you know, and they. Uh, but who's to say it wasn't just my personality, you know, <laughs> that they didn't like? Um, I mean, I think anyone that dates people that way, there's a lot of yeah, first date, first and only yeah, person. I mean, you met Jacob's mom. Yeah. He's dated for a little while, and mm -hmm. you had he had other girlfriends before me. I guess is what we should get at not a ton it's not like you were a prolific <laughs> Clea. No. Clea, but you I mean you had you had a kind of serious girlfriend in high school and then you you know you had dated someone before me after Jacob's mom and you know yeah because it was always you know for me anyways even though I wasn't always 100% accepting of my vision impairment I always also knew that if somebody doesn't want to be with me because I can't see very well, well then I don't want them anyway. And yeah. I, so I'm not going to let that scare me off from even trying. Um, I'm going to go out and try and uh, let it be my personality they don't want to be with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carrie Adams said, have you guys ever had issues with one or the other leaving cabinet doors or drawers in the kitchen open and forgetting to close them? No, now I... Not too much. Yeah, because of my... The way my vision is, um, I have the peripheral, so I, I see all these things pretty well. Um, no, one of our biggest things is lights. Um, I'm constantly wanting to leave the lights on in the rooms so that I can see when I'm walking through, and then you know she constantly wants me to turn them off. Uh, yeah, I don't mind when we're in when we're in the room. It's just at the end of the night, if I'm the last one up, it drives me crazy. I have to like circle through the entire house <laughs> and turn off a bunch of lights that I didn't turn on and maybe was never even in that room. So I don't mind so much. I just wish you would turn them off when you were finished in that area of the house. But then somebody might want to go through there. And, and turn the light on. Is that <laughs> good? I mean, most of them have light switches. There are a few where you get, which those drive me even more crazy. I have to walk in and go to the light to turn it on. But We need to just rig up the entire house with the motion detection lights. Yeah, that would be nice. Like in the kitchen, you just walk in and, and the cabinet light turns on. And then after, you know, 10 seconds or whatever, after you leave, they turn off again. Yeah, which we have that one over there by the coffee maker. Yeah. yeah. An under cabinet light that does that. And that is nice. Yeah. Um, Irene Reamers, I think there was a typo and I'm not really sure what you were asking. So you might want to, how do I tell my son that I am something? But I, I think there's a typo in there that I'm not 100% sure. Um, Kelly said, I love hearing this. I worry they'll hate that I can't drive. They will. I mean, <laughs> I mean and not hate it, but it, that it, I, if Skylar, if you ask Skylar, I think that's the biggest thing, mm -hmm. the biggest complaint she has. But, I mean, it's more because if Sam worked full-time outside of the home, it really would be a non-issue because we're both gone anyway, so who, it doesn't matter. It's just, like, in the summer, Sam's home. I'm at work anyway. But Sam's at home, and if he can't drive her and she wants to go somewhere, it's frustrating. Yeah, and that's that's always been one of my biggest, um, you know, regrets or, or things that I feel the, the worst about is not being able to contribute with the driving. Um, you know, our daughter Skyler has after-school things a lot, and drama, and things, plays, and, you know, or just studying, and, and all of that 
and the shopping and the errands and all of that falls on Rachel. And mm-hmm. I, I would, I wish I could contribute with that as well. Um, thankfully now we've got like Lyft and, um, Uber and, you know, and, and so I can help out with some of those things. Well, and like we shop at our grocery store that we shop at is Kroger and they have, which I think pretty much every grocery store does now has yeah. the, um, it's called click list there, but where you order it online and can pick it up. And we do that a lot, which it's still me going to get it, but at least I'm not spending an hour. I'm just, we, the grocery store's quick, close to here and I can just go over there. I don't have to get out of the car, pick it up and come back. And that, that's a huge time savings. And what we, is, we, it's worth the $5 or whatever fee. Yeah. It's, it's totally worth it to me. We use that probably most weeks mm-hmm. and I love it. <laughs> yeah. And also like uh, subscribe and save on Amazon. We do that yeah. for a lot of our, um, reoccurring purchases like toilet paper and um, paper, towels, paper towels, body wash, yeah, cleaning supplies. So that helps out a lot. Well, just ordering anything on Amazon mm-hmm. um, makes it much easier. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see. Mark Noah Sotelo said she's not getting that I can sneak my boyfriend in my room advantage. No. <laughs> No, she's not. Not to mention, Sam has pretty good hearing, so... I, uh, <laughs> I can tell you exactly what she's doing right now, upstairs. <laughs> uh, Dark Queen said it teaches them to have empathy that seems to be in short supply these days. Yeah, I agree. absolutely. Yeah. Um, Melanie said, I met my first husband through an old school, old school personal ad. Second and current husband I met through an online dating site. It can work. Oh, yeah. It definitely can. Yeah. Uh... Oh, someone asked who primarily does the grocery shopping. So yeah, me. But like today, so I'm having horrible allergies, which by the way, the medicine did not knock me out. Yeah, good. <laughs> but, um, and we had already scheduled a, a click list to pick up this morning. And, um, but I really needed some allergy medication as well. So we went to pick up the click list and then to save time, Sam went with me and he just ran into the store. Did you ask, did you have to ask someone? I no, I did. found, luckily in the pharmacy, they had these big signs above the different sections. So I just found the cold and flu section. And then I looked around, I scanned for something starting with an A because I figured <laughs> allergy, allergic, something like that. Yeah. And then with my magnifier, I found the one. It took me a long time, it took me much longer than it would have her, but I did that, and then when I go to pay, pay, I can't use the little card scanner machine, so I always have to tell them to ask them to help me do that. Um, yeah. It may have taken you a while, but I mean, it worked out. It took less time than if I had gone in because park the car, I would have had to yeah. park and go, and I was able to pick up our groceries and then the gas station. There's a Kroger gas station right there, so I went and got gas, and then he just met me at the gas station. So it worked. I mean, yeah. it worked out great. So he definitely, it's not, you know. It's not like you're helpless. It's not like you can't. It's not like you're incapable of grocery shopping. It's just easier for yeah, me to do it. It's going to take me a lot longer. Yeah. Um, I'm going to buy a lot of junk food. <laughs> Which actually, incidentally, um, on that topic, my sister, who Tawny, who you guys have seen on this channel, she had a great video idea, um, blind shopping, or part of the blind challenge, where I just go and have a list or something and have to go grocery shopping? Yeah, like I need to get potato chips, but I'm not allowed to use any kind of assistive technology or ask for anything. I just need to get the potato chips. Well, why can't you use assistive technology? Because that's, that's like the whole... No, it's it's like one of those um, blindfolded halls where you just order stuff at random oh. and then you see what you get and it's, it's funny and I don't know. Uh, but because apparently she does this a lot, she'll go shopping and she'll, she thinks she's getting tomato soup, but really it's like... <laughs> tomato soup with chickpeas you know it's it's got the fine print on there and so or i I guess um salad dressing is one of the big ones for her she thinks she thinks she's getting ranch but it's not ranch it's something else so yeah maybe we'll do that that. sometime um yeah someone else said at least you can order food easily these days too yeah we order food too much (laughs) um how were other parents when they found out that you can't see too well I don't feel like we've ever really gotten much. You get the, you get the, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Or, you know, and it's like, yeah. you didn't do it, so you shouldn't be sorry. 
Um, and there's some people that, you know, that and I think it's just part of their personality. There's some people that are so good about it that once they realize it, they try to be really helpful. Sometimes too helpful or it's not help. It's not what they're trying, you know, they're trying yeah, to do yeah. something that's not really very helpful. But there are the people that because they know, like, if they see Sam somewhere, they will always say, hey, Sam, it's George or, or mm-hmm. whatever. And that's so nice mm-hmm. because... You know, especially if it's someone you don't see on the regular, you don't know their voice or their yeah. general body shape yeah. <laughs> that well, you're not going to know who they are at the store. Yeah, and then they also a lot of uh, Skyler's friends, parents will offer to to drive different events. Um, yeah. Because they know that we only have one driver. Um, or, you know, if, if Rachel is at work, then the parents will offer to pick Skylar up to take her to the sleepover or the whatever the event may be just because just so that she can do it because we would not be able to get her there otherwise yeah yeah which I mean part of that is just because I'm at work too like if we both yeah. worked full-time that, that most of those things it would it would still be an issue like especially now that Jacob we don't have Jacob and Skylar that we both we need to get both of them places Jacob independent drives on his own yeah doesn't live at home so I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of that, it, it's not all just because of your little vision. Other, it's just that a lot of Skyler's friends have at least one parent that are stay-at-home parent yeah. or work from home or whatever. Um, J, JC5 Productions said he was recently at the grocery grocery shopping and they had rearranged the item locations. Oh. I hate that too, but I can imagine it's, it, like he said, it's way worse. They've done that at our Kroger's like three so times. So many times. Like that's one of the best things about ClickList. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. I don't it. have to worry about it. Speaking of JC5 Productions, you guys got to go check out his latest video. He went, took a trip to Chicago. It was a great video. I got a shout out in the video. That I was love awesome. Chicago. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. And I commented and said that we, we did Chicago about four years ago, maybe it was. Spring break. Yeah. Um, and had a great time. We stayed about a block away from Navy Pier, which um, Juan goes to in his video. And mm-hmm. yeah, I just had a great time. We went there remember when I took my boards, you and I. Oh, yeah, just by ourselves. Pre, pre Skyler. The, the good um. old days. <laughs> <laughs> before kids. BK, before kids. <laughs> um, someone said, do you use Android Pay? It might help since you don't need to interact with the card reader. No, I. that's something that I, I keep meaning to uh, look into and research. Um, I've got Google Wallet, yeah, Android Pay, um, Samsung Pay. I've even got that on my phone. I need to look more into those options and, you know, possibly do a video about it in the future. Yeah. Um, I'm getting lazy in my old age. Um, Ty- <laughs> Tyler Layton said, um, in Utah, for VIP high schoolers, they actually teach you how to shop for groceries and cook, which is cool. But you had that at your high school, too, right? Yeah, I graduated from a school for the blind, and part of the curriculum there was um, everybody, the seniors, had to spend, I think it was two weeks, they had this house built on campus and it was just a little small house and you had to spend two weeks in that house living in there um cook uh, cooking for yourself cleaning you had to create a budget and go shopping they took you shopping and and um i think balancing a checkbook was all part of that which i think is you've never done since then probably i did back back when people did that kind of thing (laughs) nobody balances checkbooks anymore (laughs) i did yeah (laughs) Back in the 90s. <laughs> not at the end of the 90s. Not late, 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 late. Not, not since I've known you. Um, uh, well, that's something that someone no one's asked about, but people have in the past asked about, is like how we divide up like household chores and responsibilities and whatnot. We're still figuring that one out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even think it has to do with your vision. It's no, just, it's just normal yeah. stuff. Sam does more of it than me. Because he's home more than me. Yeah, I, I, I did, and then I, I was working more, and I kind of got out of it. We had a we had someone clean the house once a month for a while there, and then that... We got real lazy with that. Yeah. It, like, didn't get touched in between those monthly <laughs> That poor lady, poor lady would come in and was like, so you guys didn't do anything <laughs> while I was gone. <laughs> like, nope. I'll be upstairs if you need me. <laughs> Basically, whenever, whichever one of us gets just sick of it quicker and that's that's one of those things too which is frustrating for rachel i know because i can't see the dirt i can't see that the floor needs to be swept like sam's never gonna dust 
ever because it's not going to occur to him. I just don't think about it. That yeah. it, something needs to be dusted because he can't see it. And he, yeah, you also don't see stuff on the floor. Yeah. Which shows up way worse since we got new flooring than it used to on our carpet. Yeah. It's, unless I physically put my hands on it like a countertop, um, I don't think about it. Yeah. Sam is great about um, dishes like... Well, not you never hand wash anything, but no. he loads the dishwasher, dishwasher empties the dishwasher way, <laughs> way more than anyone else in the house. And I think it's because you're here yeah. more, so yeah. it, that's something that just happens. But and and you do laundry pretty regularly. But I mean, I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Basically, I guess what it comes down to is is us dividing the chores around the house really are not much different than any a couple yeah whether you have someone with low vision in your house or not it's pretty pretty similar other than like yeah he's not going to dust he's probably not going to be the best person to clean mirrors and you've you've mentioned in, in other videos that if i do sweep and mop the floor sometimes you'll come back in and you'll see something that i just didn't see and i didn't scrub hard enough so yeah. you'll go back and go i over. either like leave it there and figure we'll get it next time or i do it i, I go over it and that's something that just over time i've had to learn that if I want help, then I have to accept the help that I'm given. And I think that is something that's important in any couple relationship that, yeah. and I think it's, I think it's oftentimes the, the wife or the mom that has trouble with that. It's like, they want to complain about not having help, but then if the spouse helps, they didn't do it the way they wanted it done. And so they're just like, never mind, I'll do it myself. And then it's just a vicious <laughs> cycle. And I had to learn that, especially because Sam stayed home with Skylar for 10 years. So when I was at work, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't dictate to him how to take care of our daughter. It was going to happen the way it happened. And, and she so survived. Had, and she survived and is <laughs> a happy, well-adjusted kid. So. Yeah. And she doesn't, she doesn't have too many scars. And, um, <laughs> one thing I mentioned too about that, about cleaning, I've got a couple of videos on my channel about cleaning as a VIP and tips and tricks and cleaning toilets and sweeping and that kind of thing. So. Someone said, it sounds like you need a robot vacuum. We've thought about yeah, it. Yeah, I want one real bad. S since we've gotten, we got um, the vinyl planks, what are they? Luxury, Luxury vinyl, vinyl planks. Plank, hardwood yeah. throughout the house. Um, now, yeah, it would be much easier now to have a robot just going around. Yeah, Skylar would need to pick crap up, though. Can we get the one that cusses when it bumps into things, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> have you seen that video? That's a good video to go Google after this. The room by the cousins. JD said, I totally understand the cleaning. I'm by myself five days a week, and basically what I told my husband is if it isn't clean enough for you, hire someone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. That was my, my father's little bit of advice that he passed down to me is why do something yourself when you can pay someone else to do it for you? Because <laughs> I don't want to be broke. <laughs> I... Can't take it with you. Yeah, I want to retire at some point. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Um, okay, what else do we have here? Um, this is not related to relationships and stuff, but someone did say, Cristobal said, um, I've started arts and I'm transitioning from using magnification to using voiceover on Mac. What's, what are your recommendations? That's awesome. I congratulate you on that. I'm kind of in that middle area too. I still use the magnification, but man, if I can have it read to me, it's just so much easier. Um, and I, I try and try and teach people this and they have a hard time accepting that you don't have to use the voice all the time. They think, well, I don't need the voice all the time. It's like, no, you don't have to use it all the time. You can just use it when you need it. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing. Um, but unfortunately, Max, I know nothing about, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I know that the, they are very uh, accessible. Talk to Derek Daniel. He's, he's a Mac guy. Yeah. He's not in here this time. No. JC might be a Mac guy. I don't know. JC, are you a Mac guy? Yeah. Um, also, Cristobal said they, he needs to start using a blind stick, a cane, yeah. to move on my own on the street. But I feel like I'm not blind, so it would be offensive to totally blind people. How do you deal with that? Because we still see. No, it's not. It's not. you got to think about the cane as um, it's a tool. It's, you know, I don't need the hammer <laughs> all the time. I don't need a hammer to screw in a screw, but I do need a hammer for the, for the nail. So... The cane is a tool there for you to use when you need it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just like, I have to wear glasses or contacts to be able to function well in the world, but I don't care that someone uses reading glasses to read. 
And yeah. it's really kind of the same idea. It's like, I need him for way more than just that, but, it, you know, it is it is what it is. No, but, I mean, you are going to get the odd looks from people um, all the time, unfortunately, that it's just the world we live in. There's, yeah. They're still, they think it's a novelty. Oh, look, somebody with a cane. Um, just ignore that. Or if you use your cane and then you get to your destination and you grab your phone and look at your phone. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things. Or, yeah, or, like, for me... If I'm out and I need my cane to walk around the sidewalk because there's curbs and things and manhole covers and stuff like that. But once I get to the store, I know there's no steps in there. There's no bumps, nothing like that. So I'm just going to, I put my cane away because I don't need it in the store. And I'm sure somebody looking at that thinks, well, you were blind a second ago and now you're not blind. What's the, what's the deal? You know, but you just got to remember you use the tool the way you need to use it and don't worry about what anybody else thinks yeah. as long as you're not abusing it um, you know that's fine and if you want I've got a whole video where I talk about um, acting more blind than you are when you're using the cane how you feel like you have to pretend to be more blind than you really are just to justify using the cane uh, and a lot of people agreed with me on that video yeah. which you know you don't need to do that no, but we, no. I, I totally understand where you sometimes where you can't help but feel that from. way yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and the other thing that I think is important as a community that if someone says something to you, someone makes a comment because, you know, you used a cane and then you go to use your phone or whatever, as frustrating as that is, I would really encourage you to try, rather than getting angry, to use it as an opportunity to teach someone. Because you tell them, they're probably going to feel pretty ashamed and stupid, honestly. Mm -hmm. But then they, they might tell someone else, and then they might tell someone else. And the more people that are aware that blindness is a spectrum and that just because you use a cane doesn't mean you're faking being blind if you can see somewhat, the more people that know that, then the more people will know and the more people will know. And, and the less comments people will get. The, yeah, the, the yeah. better it will be. So I, I feel like, you know, really try to be um, an advocate for educating people. It, and it's not always easy. I mean, there's been times that we've been out that we've gotten comments and it's, hard not to get angry <laughs> yeah. thinking of Chipotle oh yeah <laughs> yeah and it's something one last thing I'll mention about it too is the benefits of using the cane far outweigh the negatives so you know I encourage you to do it encourage everybody to do it if you yeah. need to of course um Patty Reynolds said hi this is Patrick from Ireland I have low vision and I'm thinking of doing a blog on cycling and how it can open up a whole new world within reason based on local sites. Have a great day. Absolutely. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think that's great. Awesome. Number one, awesome. Someone on here from Ireland. One of my favorite places in the world. I've never been, but definitely want to go. <laughs> one of my favorite places that I've never seen. <laughs> never been, but I want to be, I want to go. Um, I'm going to have my buddy Charlie on a live stream or a video soon. Uh, I'm trying to arrange going to visit him. And he cycles. He has star guards like I do. His vision is very similar to mine. And he has an electric bike. And he goes all over the place. And we're going to talk about how he does it. Um, I think it's fascinating. So if you wanted to make a blog about cycling and the benefits of that, I think that would be great too. Yeah, if you do, let Sam know. And he'll he'll give you a shout out on the channel so people can check it out. Yeah, definitely. Um, JC5 Productions says, blind cleaning rule. If it looks clean to me, then it's clean. There you go. If that were the case, then our house would be clean all the time yeah. <laughs> because it always looks clean to Sam. Usually, as long as it's as long as it's straightened up, it I'm looks clean to the you. The most clean person in the world. <laughs> Everything's always clean. Does our bathroom countertop look clean right now? It looks clean. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't feel it doesn't clean. Feel clean. <laughs> as long as I don't touch it. Nearly blind Brian said, "I use text to voice on my Mac, and I love it." Um, JC5 says, I'm not sure if you guys are referring to me, but I'm a Mac guy. I currently learning voiceover on the Mac. Yes. Um, someone asked, um, have you ever had a service animal? No, um, I haven't. Um, just because, of, like I, I, I've said before, my vision, the way it is, I don't generally run into things. What I have problems is depth perception and judging steps and stairs and things like that and then in dark low vision yeah it's worse at low, night uh, low light situations low light situations and so that's just really not enough um situations for me to warrant having a guide dog uh I, they're such incredible animals and 
amazing animals that you know it would be better served with someone else. Um, I would I'd love to have one. They're super awesome animals, but like I said, I just I just have a really cool dog, you know. That's not really a good reason to have one. Yeah. Um, Nearly Blind Brian said, I wore my I can see but I can't shirt out this past week and I noticed when I was in a restaurant that I got more help than normal. It was interesting. Awesome. And Dark Queen said, yeah, that I can see but I can't shirt to me is just as useful and effective as my cane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Maybe it needs to be like your official travel shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I've got more shirt designs coming, guys. Uploading all the time. Do you? Yeah, I've been, I've been, all past week I've been making new designs. Oh yeah, that's right, because you, you've got that new model thing. Yeah. Um, okay, I think I've hit all the questions. Well, good. What else should we talk about? Uh, it's already 3.35. Yeah, it goes by five. Live streams go by fast. Yeah, time flies. Hmm. Does anyone have any other questions before we, we wrap it up? Yeah, we're actually going to go to a movie tonight. Yes. Go out to eat and go to a movie. Our favorite place that we used to always go to is our date night closed, and it's sad. Yeah. It was nice because it was a restaurant and bar just on the other side of the parking lot is the movie theater. So we could go have, have adult couple, beverages. Have a couple drinks. <laughs> and then walk over to the movie theater. And then, yeah. Be slightly tipsy and not drive. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time the movie was over, it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. So we missed that. But we've maybe found another place that will work yeah. as we're well. Gonna, we're going to try it out tonight and see yeah. see how it goes. <laughs> Cristobal said, I was disgusting. No, I don't hate it, but yeah, it is a little bit like... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine to me. It could, go, it could go another week or so. But we did. We should, we look, at, we should look into the, uh, the robot vacuum. Yeah. We need the robot lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the lawn mowing is be is is difficult. I mean, you started using the cane the canes the cones. Yeah, and that's helped a lot. But it's and that's the front yard. One area of our front yard is looks like crap. We're, anyway, yeah, we're struggling, we're struggling with, with this weed issue, and and it's also the area where right where it goes from like shade to light. I think it's the lighting mm -hmm. as well. He just tends to miss spots there a yeah. lot, and I just hate mowing. So, so Ra don't. Rachel will stand at the, like point. At, at the front of the, the strip that I missed, <laughs> and I'll just aim for Rachel. <laughs> I did do some of the mowing this last time, but not not a lot of it. Yeah. I do the weed eating, though, because that's just really difficult for Sam to do. Yeah, I, I would The shrimp edging and trimming and I'd weed eating. tearing everything up. Yeah, so I do that part, and he does the mowing. And we try. Working in the yard. I did, too. <laughs> I did, too. Yeah, no, I, it's, that's... Typical behavior. Yeah. Typical teenager. Um, here we go. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, oh, what movie are we going to see? We're going to go see... Peanut, Pe peanut Butter Falcon. Yeah, Peanut Butter Falcon. The looks, Peanut Butter Falcon. It looks really, cool, really funny and sweet. Yeah, heartwarming. Yeah. Uh, like Rachel said, she has a nephew with Down, so we're kind of suckers for those those kind of movies. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I think someone was asking if we can put a link to buy the shirts. It's always in your, right? Isn't it always in? Yep. Slash The Blind Life. And all my shirts are in there. Um. And he also has like what's that called the Amazon thing where it has like products that you use or that you've done. Videos. It's that. It's Is my that shop. all the same? Yeah. Okay, so the shop has the T-shirts, but it also has like recommended products. some of his recommended yeah. like favorite lights and kitchen things and like bump dots and yeah, yeah, magnifiers. Go there to Amazon through one of those links. Um, the Blind Life gets a small, tiny little pittance of what but, you spend. <laughs> but you don't pay any more. You pay the no. same price whether no. you bought it through that link or not. It just helps. Same out. Helps out the channel. Yeah. Um, Nearly Blind Brian said, I'm also a blind cyclist, but have started doing indoor cycling, and it's fun and hard. I can never... I, I like riding bikes. I tried cycling in, like, a spin class once, and I could not do it. It's just not my thing. Some people love it. Yeah. It's not my thing. Noob Noob said, do you think there will be a treatment or cure for RP? I don't, I don't think we have any insight, knowledge no. on that at all. Who knows? I mean, there are lots of 
um, labs are working on different things, genetic and then stem cell and all that. Uh, more likely, most likely, it's going to be a cure for the progression of the disease, halt the progression. Yeah. Rather it's than curing it. Yeah. Like fixing, giving, giving back the vision you already yeah, lost. Yeah, fixing the damaged cells. Um. How do you deal with subtitles in movies? I don't feel like I need full audio description, but I can't read subtitles. I read the subtitles very quietly in his ear. Yeah, if we're... <laughs> we sit like this at the movie, and I'm like, New York, 1949. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, and, and if we're home, I just read them out loud, but I am nope. so yeah. used to doing that, that when I go to the movies with a friend or my mom or whatever, I catch myself doing it like reading it out loud <laughs> like, over your mom. yeah and they're like i can see that and i'm like i'm so sorry like I, it's just it's ingrained in me now to 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 do that yeah and then the kids talking about the kids helping out the, the kids will read out subtitles also automatically now yeah so i try to do it quietly so as not to disturb people around us so i'm i'm always like you know right up in his ear and i know what you mean sometimes you know there's the audio description I mean, too bad they don't have like levels of, of description. You know, if I just want the subtitles read, but I don't need to know what's going on in the scene, you know, I could take yeah. level one description. I, I, that would probably be too complicated. But <laughs> um, the audio description does help. I mean, one of the times we were watching a movie in the theater and I had the, I was doing the headset, um, I, I, I think I leaned over to, to Rachel, I was like, He's walking into Bill's grocery store. And she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry if it's exciting that I know that. And you didn't have to tell me. Because that's one of those things that I probably wouldn't read out loud. Because it isn't it's important, not that important to, to yeah, yeah, the, the, na the, the name to, of the store yeah. that he's walking into. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's, one of the, that's the great thing about audio description. It fills in all that stuff. Do you think, you, will you try to get the audio description this evening? Well, tonight? Yeah, I probably will. Might as well. It's always an ordeal. It is, and, and oftentimes I miss the first 20 minutes of the movie because... It doesn't work. It didn't work. I have to take it back. They, they gave him the wrong headset, which there I think they use the same headset, right? You just switch the setting. Yeah, switch the frequency or whatever. Yeah. It, what, I'm, what I'm saying by that is the same headset as they give for people with that are... Uh, hearing impaired. Hearing impaired, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just the audio louder. Um, P. Duffy was wondering if we have other VIP couples as friends. Not really. No, I mean, I, I've got col um, people I used to work with, and we know them. Um, I have I have friends that I hang out with who are visually impaired. Um, we don't really hang out with the as a couple as couples. No. That much. Um, like one time when I, I'm originally from the Indianapolis area, and um, Derek Daniel lives near there. And so one time when we were going there, we stopped and, and visited with them. And we, we really, I think if they lived nearby, we would probably, yeah, yeah. We would probably hang out. Because we really had a nice time hanging out. And we chit-chatted for a while and went out to lunch and, and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. But yeah. They, that's, that's like three hours away from us. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we don't really. Sam has his old co-workers that he goes and does stuff with. Mm -hmm. But I often don't tag along not that i dislike them or anything but you know sometimes skylar's at home and yeah it just i don't know or she's got something to i do. gotta yeah like they, sam went out with them friday but i had to be i was running skylar places and stuff plus i hardly ever am home alone and i'm sure <laughs> that this is something that other partners who have who the the sided half of a sided non-sided relationship can understand is that since sam doesn't drive he rarely is gone when I'm at home. Yeah. Like, almost, almost never. Yeah, if I'm going anywhere, you're taking I'm taking me. him, generally. Yeah. So, um, it's not, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of time alone here and there. So, like, Friday, Skylar was off doing things with a friend, and Sam went and um, hung out with his friends, and I had a couple hours at the house before I had to go and pick up Skylar and stuff. But And I, I try not to let it hurt hurt my feelings yeah, I think he, he gave me crap about it he was like I'm really sorry we're leaving you home alone I was like it's 
totally fine. I don't. I never get time home alone. It's like okay, fine. See how you want. <laughs> you feel See like how that. you feel. It's like come on. You get. I think. I think if you didn't, you get a lot of alone time. Yeah. And I think if you didn't, you'd be grouchy. Yeah, I'd be hanging out upstairs in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> and I try. I try not to do that too much. But yeah, I don't. I don't get that just alone time very often. So it's nice. Um, uh, Carrie said she didn't get the notification. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Carrie. Oh. Um, no, I don't want S voice. So Safe Pet Heaven, Haven said, decades ago I put in all ground cover, Asian jasmine, in my front yard. Never regretted it. But beware of the robot lawnmowers have had several. Not what they claim, but I love the concept. Uh, yeah, I always wondered how well they work. Like, do they truly not miss spots? Um, Cristobal wants to know if you can buy your shirts from outside the U.S. It depends on what country, right? There, and, and I don't have any control over this. It's all through Amazon. Uh, but they sell in Great Britain and Germany right now. Uh, but there is kind of a workaround that someone told me about, and I made a video about this, where there's there's a website, I don't remember what it's called right now, where they basically will ship to you. So you set up them as your shipping address through Amazon. You buy it, Amazon sends it to them, and then they forward, forward it on to you. Um, and I, there may, may probably be an extra, a little yeah. bit extra charge. I don't think it's too bad though. Someone told me about it. That that's how they got my shirt and other stuff. Um, you could try that, but Amazon is opening up new um, uh, countries. Yeah, every now and then. So hopefully soon. And Odyssey of Stephen asked for me, "How does being a sighted supporter? How has been being a sighted supporter been for you all these years?" It's fine. Yeah. I mean, I think there's obviously times when it's frustrating. I think the hardest time was when my stepson, Jacob, was in high school and did not yet have his license. Mm. And Skylar was in school. And there was a time, that time was hard. Basically when there's a lot of different things going on that I can't drive everyone everywhere. Or I feel like that's all I'm doing is driving people around. Which I think some parents feel that way, whether or not they have a visually impaired partner when their kids are just in a lot of activities or if you have you know more kids than there are drivers in the yeah, family yeah. um i think that those have probably been the most difficult times to to be a sided supporter like or like when you were working as the when you were doing cake decorating and i had to rush home from work and get skylar and then get you and get her to dance class that was really a stressful time yeah. for me. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, for the most part, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I guess I don't know how different it is from others people, other people's relationships because I never lived with someone or was married to someone yeah, else. So that's... I've only ever known this and it's totally fine. And I mean, Sam's a great husband. So I have friends who have sighted husbands who are not as involved and active with their families and with their kids and stuff and you know it's a lot easier to deal with someone not being able to see very well as long as they're an active and involved part of the family yeah I mean, it kind of kind of goes back to talking about the kids it's just that's just your normal mm -hmm. it's just the way it is yeah yeah so i mean there's been times that it's been frustrating or, or a little bit overwhelming but for the most part no big deal yeah right yep um do you want to know how it is for me having a sighted <laughs> really how is that for you sam it's terrible <laughs> no <laughs> you, you use full advantage of me uh, being able to drive yeah it would be and read signs it'd be much more difficult not 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 doable i've got a i've got a friend from high school who he's married to a um, wonderful lady who's totally blind and she, they both have guide dogs and they both have several kids I don't even know how many kids they have now but 
Uh, and they every time I see them on Facebook, they look like they're having just a fantastic, wonderful life. Yeah. So it's definitely or, doable. like when we went to um, the ACB conference, there were a lot of families there yeah. with um, two, I shouldn't say a lot, but there were several families there with both both um, parents were mm-hmm. visually impaired. And, and some of them totally blind because like there were the, the family that had three teenagers that Skylar hung out with the whole time, yeah. two girls and a boy. I th- were both those parents blind? Totally I blind? So. I think they might have been. And their kids were great. And, you know, Skylar had a great time hanging out with him at the conference and stuff. But, you know, you just make it work. Um, Patrick Rooney, yes, Derek Daniel has a channel. It's called Life After Sight Loss. Yep. And he, he's he's more of a Mac guy than Sam is. Yeah. And he's got a guide dog. Yeah, he did. A couple weeks ago. Koa, is that what's called? Koa, yes. Which man, he was hauling. I don't know if anybody else has seen his video he put out about training with the dog. Um, he was hauling butt with his dog, walking fast. I'm like, <laughs> does he always walk that fast? <laughs> I would want to be like, oh, slow down, buddy. <laughs> uh, oh, in a hurry. Carrie from Live Accessible, of course. She said, hey, Pablo and I are both blind. Yep, Carrie is. Carrie has uh, raising raising kids. Seems seems like she's doing well. <laughs> I don't know all the details, but yeah. Um, Kelly Trapasso said, "Do your kids ever guide you when out?" You don't really need guided very uh, often. No, not often, but like at night. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I'll you know I'll hang on to one of them. Um, it's usually me. Yeah, we did it recently at a school. We were coming out of a. The high school, I think, for a, a performance. Um, mm-hmm. You did once recently, and I think Skyler did also. Um, yeah, and then Jacob, my son, um, they did that a lot when we went to New York. Um, mm-hmm. Did a lot of, you know, like looking over their shoulder, making sure dad was okay. Yeah. Um, so, which I appreciate. Yeah, I guess we do. That's the stuff that you just don't even, you don't even think about. You don't it. even think about it, you just do it. Yeah. Um, yes, Carrie, it is our 18th anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> We're, uh, Rachel and I are in competition to be the cutest VIP couple. <laughs> no, we're not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to beat out Matt and Corey from Blind to Billionaire. <laughs> don't tell them I said that. They're a very cute couple, I'm just saying. I don't, I, I'm not familiar with yeah. them. <laughs> JC5 production said if my dog was a guide dog she would lead me to all the food places that I'd have to make those my landmarks yes ours too <laughs> she would be terrible she would be the worst guide dog as long as there were no yeah no food and no other animals, animals. yeah, yeah but really she, she just would wanna, still be terrible she'd just want to guide you to the couch yeah like sit down so I can sit on your lap <laughs> that would be it we'd never get anywhere because she'd be stopping to pee on something every every three, steps. Th- three or four feet yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how she's she's a small little uh, dachshund um, Jack Russell Jack Russell Terrier mix and so I don't know her how why her bladder or how her bladder can hold that much <laughs> she stops every like 10 feet yeah it is weird isn't it yeah um, Dark Queen said Sam I said the same thing to Jacob about Koa oh yeah walking fast yeah Okay, I don't see anything else. Well, a lot of people wishing us happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. It's it's been easy, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's flown I, by. I guess the last couple of years, especially, I think it was harder when we had young kids. Yeah. It hasn't always been easy. No, I mean it's ups and downs, just like any relationship. Yeah, but I'd say the last three or four years have been pretty. Yeah. Pretty easy, and it has flown by. Yeah crazy so we'll see you guys for 28 years <laughs> 20, 30th anniversary yeah i was thinking i mean you tell skylar she's got seven years to plan her 25th anniversary party <laughs> she needs to get on it yeah <laughs> maybe we should redo our vows or something we had a, such a fun wedding i would love to redo it Mhm. it was a very good time snappy cat nine said i'm gonna go i'm going to buy the icotus projector next month Oh, good. Well, I hope you like it. Um, I think it's a pretty cool one. It's not the best quality in the world. I mean, it's 720. But, you know, to get a really large 
picture um, for you know less than a hundred bucks. And also something I'll say is that like we have a projector, we do movies out in the front yard, or we have done in the past. Um, that's what I have my big screen for that I showed in that video. Um, and we have a really high powered projector. Um, this one, this Icotus one, would not be able to, to compete with that. <clears throat> um, so if you know if you're wanting to get it for like really big productions, movies outside kind of thing, it might not be the best one for that. Does the does it have to be like pretty dark too for it to work? It, no, or not that's too not bad. so much. It's just more the. It's it's got pretty good 3800 lumens. Um, I can't remember what ours is. I think ours is like 4500, so it's a little bit brighter. Yeah, I don't know. We've had it quite a while. Yeah. Um, but ours was a lot more expensive than that one. Yeah, like three times as much. Yeah. Or I, I don't even know. Yeah. You, you bought it. And it's bigger. <laughs> um, this one is, yeah, it seems like this one would be less of a pain to like, let's just get it out and, and do a movie. Yeah, in the living room. Versus or like, the one we have. Or like I said in the video, you know, going to on vacation and just want to take something fun for the kids to play around with. I think it would be great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all in all, not too bad. They have a bunch of other ones too. You should set up next time Skylar has friends over or something you should set it up so they can play um, Minecraft yeah that'd be fun yeah and if you do get it be sure to check out the uh, code in the discount or in the um, the description of the video discount code so you can get I think it's 10% off 15% off I don't remember what it is 20 something like that um what is Oh, uh, Carrie asked for you, before you were married, did you live alone, and did you live in a house or an apartment? Before I was married, um, I moved out when I was like 17, 18. I moved in with my sister. She's, she's three years older. Um, and also visually impaired. Also visually impaired. So we had a place together until she moved away, and I lived by myself for a couple years, or maybe about a year. And then I moved in with three, with two other guys, and it was the big party apartment. It was a one bedroom apartment with three guys. <laughs> the one I when I met you was a two bedroom. Two bedroom, yeah. We, we upgraded to a two bedroom. <laughs> um, but that was a lot of fun. And then, okay, how did you do that when it was a one bedroom with three guys? Two guys slept on couches, and I had my own room. <laughs> okay. Because um, I had it first, and they moved in. So yeah. They, but. Um, and then I moved in with Rachel um, because... It was too much of a party house. It was too much. It was like <laughs> just really bad influences and stuff like that. I was like, I need, to, I need a break. I need to change. Uh, and then, so I moved in with Rachel into her apartment. And then we got our house shortly before we got married. We bought our first house together. Yeah. But when he and his sister lived together, they did live in a house, in a house at one point. Now, were you guys responsible for the yard care or did the no the guy did it no did it, so yeah we just rented to. so yeah yeah but some places even if you rent you still have to mow and stuff um that hold on and we rode mopeds yeah because carrie said that uh, she and pablo were thinking about moving and they can't decide if house or condo is better considering they're both blind i think house personally um i mean you do have to keep it up um but it's your own place. It's your own. It's your own area. You don't have to worry about, you know, going to get the mail and accidentally running into someone else while they're getting the mail. That kind of thing. Or I don't know. Just... Do either? Do they have guide dogs? No. Okay. Because I would think if you had guide dogs, um, your own space would be your, better. Yeah. Although I guess you probably don't just let them out in the backyard like we do Willow because you would never find the poop, huh? If you didn't care about that, like. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Our backyard is a minefield. <laughs> One of the benefits of being blind. Um, well, as I was gonna say, it's also my sister and I rode mopeds back then too, so um, that's how we got back and forth to work and grocery shopping and stuff. Um, so Snappy Cat said quality is not an issue with his. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a his or her glaucoma. And also said I want to use it also for a Christmas window display. Yes. Sam <laughs> Sam did the best Halloween decorations with the projector a couple of years ago. So he got um, a frosted, like clear but frosted, right? Yeah, frosted. Um, shower curtain. Shower curtain. And just put it up in the window. And then, you know, from the inside, put the projector onto the window. And it was like zombies 
scratching, scratching at, at, at the window. window. Oh my gosh, it was ever, like so many people when they were out trick or treating stopped and were like, "Oh my gosh!" and you know, were going on and on about it, and like they'd come back later with someone else that they brought to see the display and yeah. stuff. It was really cool. There's a company, I think it's like Scare FX or something like that, that you can buy um, CDs or you can download digital. And it's just a, a video loop. Um, and they've got tons. They've got like silhouettes of people running past the, the, the window and then the zombie horde comes crawling through. And they have sounds to it. So it's like, yeah. brains. So we, yeah, we hooked we it had up speakers, and I had right? the speakers going yeah. out the window. Um, it was awesome. And it just looks like the zombies, yeah, scratching, a whole bunch of zombies scratching at a window. Um, and and it, was, it was one of the first years that The Walking Dead had come out too, so like yeah. I think everyone especially loved it. Now you, now you see that all over the place. There's several like, people that have that display. They have witches, they have like poltergeists, they have all kinds of stuff. Christmas things also. Um, Lex Picks asked if I point things out to you when we're out and about that you may not notice or do I keep a lot of it unsaid? He said, my girlfriend is always mentioning things she sees in the distance that I may be interested in or she will ask if I saw that or this on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, all that, I think. Yeah, not everything um, because it would be constant. There's just a lot of visual input. Yeah. Um, but especially when we're in the car, I know that you can't see a lot of what's going on yeah she'll say like oh that house has a really cool porch you know it's it's they've got ferns and blah 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 she'll explain it you know yeah. describe it yeah but the, i i i mean i do but i don't there's there is quite a bit that i just don't because it would just be a i would be a, it would just be constant constantly dictating yeah what i'm seeing which would be you don't want to audio, audio describe the world for me <laughs> too much it's just too much <laughs> yeah i want to live live in the world too not just audio describe it well I don't need you just looking all around while you're driving anyway yeah um snappy cat nine says do you know why blind people don't skydive that's one of my favorite jokes <laughs> Sam has told that joke so I love many that times joke. <laughs> I won't ruin it if snappy cat wants to give the punchline <laughs> okay it's 402 we've been on here for an hour all right we gotta go we're gonna Go get some dinner first, and then... Um, and adult beverages. And adult beverages. Uh, and then we're going to go watch our movie. Well, thank you, guys. Keep an eye on Snappy Cat. See if she, she or he... Yeah, Snappy Cat, are you a she or a he, so we know how to refer to you? We'll tell the joke. If you give the punchline, we'll tell the joke on here. So everybody... Yeah, Snappy Cat responded because it scares the hell out of the guide dog. That's it. <laughs> I love that joke, man. That's my favorite blind joke. The other one is, it's kind of an old one, probably most people have heard it, but he, blind guy walks into a, into a store, a clothing store with a guide dog, picks up the dog on the leash and starts spinning it around in a circle. And a guy comes over and is like, uh, sir, can I help you? And he goes, oh no, I'm just looking around. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming out and joining us on this impromptu live stream. Um, we really appreciate it. As always, if you have any questions or anything, let us know down below. Um, we can do our best to help out answering questions. Or if you think there's a there's a topic we should do a video about in the future, yeah, definitely yeah. let us know. Yeah. Um, and as I said before, um, I have a whole series called Couples Q&A here on my channel where Rachel and I talk about a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can see how much we've aged in the last <laughs> six or seven years or whatever. I look exactly the same. <laughs> I don't, you don't I'm have, getting better at living. You, you don't have a long beard in it, do you? I do, yeah, yeah. That's back, in, that's back okay. in the right time. There's probably more, a lot more gray in the beard. There's a lot more gray in my hair. Uh, but uh, there's a playlist on my channel, Couples Q&A playlist, where they are all, and I will add this one to that as well. Uh, but yeah, so thanks, guys. Stay tuned. I got a video coming out tomorrow as, as per my regular schedule. Uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. We will see you later. Bye. Wait, we actually have to go on here and click on something to stop this yeah, live stream. Do I need to just stay in stream? No, not here. Go down there to the Chrome. You guys get to watch us do this here. <laughs> and then up to the top. There it is. Ah. I clicked it. Did yeah. it do anything? Oh, we're still going. <laughs>